Hello, this is Dora Tarver from createandmanageschedules.com and in this video tutorial we're going to go over how to create and use templates in Microsoft Project 2010. Now basically a template's important so that you can uh, cut down on the time it takes to uh, jumpstart your project schedule development efforts. It helps you to standardize and create reusable uh, documents that will help your team as you mature and grow. Now as you know Microsoft Project 2010 can be used for many different types of projects. Project management is a um, industry-wide uh, practice. It's not limited to one particular industry. So if you have a project that's software development or event organization or construction or production, then you know Microsoft Project will work for you. So in terms of creating templates, Project 2010 is set up to help you save time and uh, easily create and access existing templates. So what you would do is in Project 2010, once you've created your project um, plan that you want to use as a template, or if you wanted to just download an existing template, you would click on the File tab to go to the Backstage area. And when you click on the New option, you'll see that there are available templates that exist. In previous versions of Project, templates were built in. In Project 2010, there's no built-in template, but you can find existing templates on the office.com site by doing the following. Let's say um, this section down here is the office.com templates, and if you wanted to search for a specific type of template, you would actually type in that type right here. So I'm going to type in construction. And then I'm going to click on the uh, search button here to start searching for construction templates. And it came back with a few result sets. There's a commercial uh, construction project plan, residential construction project plan, home construction project plan, commercial construction project plan. Um, and basically when you click on any of these existing templates, you whichever one you like, you can click to download. So let's say I select the commercial construction project plan and I'm going to download it. It's downloading it, loading it, and here it is. After downloading it, I'll want to save it. So I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'll put it in my special location. So here we go. I'll save it right here. Click Save. Okay, now, once I have this template, um, I would then go ahead and customize it. I'd review what's existing in it. Um, the first thing I would do actually is um, collapse all of these expanded summary items so that I can see the detail below it. And to do that, if I go to the View tab and select under Data Outline and click on uh, Hide Subtasks. And then if I want to expand this one level I can now easily see how this is organized at one level and work my way through the details just level by level. I find that typically easier. Also notice that in this template they filled out a lot of information on the timeline just so that I can see more on the screen. I'll hide the timeline in the split view section on the view tab and uh, again that gives me the ability to see more what's happening in this schedule. Now I want to point out that there's also another way to find templates uh, besides going to the new and searching on Microsoft Office. And that is um, there's a website that exists on the office.microsoft.com templates um, page and here you'll find thousands of templates. So if I type the word plans in the search box right here and click on search it comes back with a bunch of different plans. You can see some of them are um, Word documents or other file formats, but some of them are Project 2010. I have uh, a result set of all these different types, but if I wanted to have just Project, 
then I would click more, select project, and now the search results for plans is returning only project files. So this is an important detail. And as you can see, we'll scroll through this list, there's quite a bit out there for all sorts of different occasions. Governance deployment, office moves, This is even a wedding planner. So let's say uh, I click on the wedding planner. Okay, here's my wedding planner project plan. And uh, again, I like to s click on the title bar to select the entire column and then collapse everything so that I can see it at a high level and just expand it a little at a little, little by little, summary, summary item by summary item. And we can see in this template that someone has formatted things by color and um, you can look at this and modify it as you need to. Again, what I would do is go to the File Menu option, save it locally. I'll just keep the same file name. And then once I make some modifications here, I would go to File, Save As, and literally save it as a template by changing the Save As type here to the, there's a couple of options. There's a Microsoft Project Template 2007 and there's also just Project Template. So you can choose depending on what your community of users are using. Sometimes you're using Project 2010 and you might need to downgrade for your users. But anyway, by default it places you in the Microsoft Templates folder. You can give it a name and then click on Save. And after you click on Save, you'll see here that the Save As template prompts you. You can choose to exclude certain elements, like you might want to um, take out the uh, values of all baselines, actual values, resource dates, etc. Anyway, you can choose what you want, and then when you're done, you click on Save. It's definitely recommended that you um, exclude all of these values, since most like project schedules will have unique baselines and actual values so you really won't need to take this information into a new project schedule but there are cases where you might need to and that's why this option is here. Now in the future when you want to use that template let's say um, let me close this plan and I'll close this one and clear this one as well. So let's say you're coming in to create a new project file and if you come in to New and go to My Templates, you'll see whatever template you've saved. We've created a construction one and a wedding planning one. Just select the one you want and click on OK. And as you can see, Project opens up that, pro that template. And then probably one of the first things you'll want to do is go to the Project tab and go to Project Information and change the start date for this wedding to be whatever your current start date is. Notice this says 2006, so we're in 2012 right now, so that was six years ago. Um, you'd want to change the date to something relevant to your current situation. Um, and then click on the OK button and you're ready to use the template. So that's how you create templates in Project 2010 as well as access and download existing templates from office.com. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at INeedSupportPlease.com. Have an excellent day.